Hi, this is uh, Danny Marrow in Tucson, Arizona. We see in the news now every day uh, concerning Israel and Palestine. I want to read you something from the Bible in Deuteronomy uh, chapter 1 verses uh, uh, 6 and uh, there, just a few verses. The Lord our God said to us in Horeb, you have dealt along, you have dealt long enough on this mountain. Turn and take up your journey and go to the hill country of the Amorites and to all their neighbors in the Arabah, in the hill country, in the lowland, in the south, the Negev, and on the coast, the land of the Canaanites and Lebanon, as far as the great river, the river Euphrates. Behold, I have set the land before you. Go in and take possession of the land which the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them and to their descendants after them. That's very significant. The Palestinians are wasting their time in trying to kill the Jews and other uh, Muslim terrorist groups because they're not going to be able to do it. The significance of that is this, that the God of Israel swore to the Jews, to Abraham, to Isaac, to Jacob, and all their descendants, that they will have the land for a thousand generations, which calculates out to about 33 thousand years. So all those people in Palestine that have sought to die as a martyr against Israel have died in vain because they are not going to win the war with Israel. They are not going to destroy Israel and to uh, the big mouth uh, president of Iran who doesn't know anything about the history of Israel he wants to wipe Israel off the map he can't do it he will not succeed period remember in Deuteronomy of the Bible in the Old Testament chapter 1 uh, verses 7 to 8 you will see that Israel will not be defeated. The Palestinians are losing their lives in vain. They are losers. They cannot defeat Israel for a thousand generations or 33,000 years. I think that's very interesting from a biblical and a historical common commentary.